today's video. We are back at the range, and today we are going to be testing out the Strike Industries Micro Comp Quad. Now we've got this mounted up on the Taurus G3 Tactical. We're just going to have some fun, see if this comp does anything for muzzle rise, see if the point of impact shifts on the dot with the comp, without the comp. So let's just have some fun. All right, the first thing we're gonna do before we shoot this with the comp, we got 10 rounds of Federal 115 grain American Eagle loaded up. We're gonna get a nice side view of the gun, see what kind of muzzle rise we're getting. We'll put the comp on it. We'll shoot the same 10 rounds again with the comp. Now, I didn't really feel anything uh, different, but we'll go back and look at the video footage and see if it made any difference at all. But so far, I'm impressed it ran. It ran fine with the comp, so let's shoot some groups with it. All right, I had seven rounds of PMC bronze left over from the previous video we shot before this. Got a camera down there rolling. We're going to shoot seven shot group at that top left target this gun is zeroed in at 10 yards i just want to see if the point of impact changes now since we're running a comp and how well it groups all right i did have a couple hit low but it looks like it shifted my point of impact up just a little bit from the zero without the comp but not a bad group all right we got 10 rounds of federal loaded up we're going to shoot a 10 shot group at the top right target All right, I fed all the Federal. Had a couple hit a little high there, but pretty good group. Now with the Federal, doesn't look like it switched my point of impact much at all. Well, so far, I can't really say that I'm shooting any better with the comp than I am without it, but it is running flawless. We'll just have to kind of go back, watch some slow-mo footage and stuff, see if it actually made any difference at all. As far as what I can tell, I'm not really seeing much of a difference, but it sure looks cool on there. All right, we got a couple USPSA targets set up. Go fire two shots into the A zone of the left, move to the right, transition back and forth until we run out of ammo. All right, we're gonna try something a little different. This time I've got 124 grain berries reloads loaded up. And they're sitting on top of 4.8 grains of CFE pistol. So let's just see if it'll run all the Barry's bullets. Here we go. All right, I ran all the reloads. Let's go uh, 
check target. All right, here's our target on the left. Got them all in the A zone. Target on the right. Got them all in the A zone. Got one on the perf right there. We did have one Charlie. All right, we're going to shoot the last 10 shot group with the comp. I got 10 rounds of the Barry's bullets loaded up again. We got one target left down there at the bottom right. Let's see how it does. All right, really, really nice group. Maybe the comp does work a little bit, I don't know. It's probably the best group I've shot today. All right, my final thoughts on the Strike Industries micro comp with the Taurus G3 Tactical. I'm pretty happy it ran flawless. It ate all the PMC bronze. We didn't have any issues with the 115 grain Federal American Eagle. And it also ran my 124 grain Barry's Bullets reloads. Perfect. And those are actually made for my PCC for competition. So the comp worked with all three different rounds that we ran through it today. Now, did it help with recoil impulse with muzzle rise? I really don't know. I know that last group I shot was the best group I shot all day. And I've been out here shooting a lot of rounds through this gun today because we are also testing out the AD Artemis Red Dot today too. So this gun's got a ton of rounds on it. And I will say one other thing, we shot a whole video about 150 rounds through it with this Red Dot before we even shot this video with the comp on the gun. So the gun's getting pretty dirty and it's running just fine with the comp. I'll go back, watch the footage. Watch some slow-mo, see if it really did help. But as far as I can tell, I couldn't really see a huge difference today. But the video will tell. Now, as far as how it looks on here, I love how it looks. It's badass looking on this G3 Tactical. So I'm happy with the way it looks. And it works. So if you want to put one of these comps on your G3 Tactical... You should not have any issues with it as long as you run the FDE spring in it for the suppressor and the compensator. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.